Okay, this is the Josephus problem, one of the more challenging problems in this section of the Udemy course. Um, basically, there's a number of uh, players in the game, and we're also going to have a number of steps. And it's kind of like a version of Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Um, although the original story is on Wikipedia, and it's a little darker than that. I recommend checking it out. Basically, in this example, we have four players and we're eliminating the player at every second step. So, one, two, player two gets eliminated, one, two, player four then gets eliminated, and then we go back to the start and take two steps, one, two, and player three gets eliminated we're ignoring all already eliminated players in this code. So the player one will be the last person standing, although they've been killed off in the uh, section shown by Dr. Ibrahim. Very cruel. Now, how do we code that? Well, we're going to need um, variables to represent the number of players and the number of steps that will be uh, in the game. And we also need an array, I'm calling it Jos array, um, initialized at zero. Now um, 200 is the maximum number of integers, but uh, I'm not going to play with 200 players, so I'm just leaving that as is. Um, we also need a variable um, to represent um, a last count position. I will explain that this is basically where we're going to start um, in our array. So we can start at position 0 in the array and this variable will keep a record of the position that um, we need to either start taking the steps from or it's um, the position where we last um, finish taking the steps. Now let, I'll show you what I mean in the uh, while loop later on in the code. Uh, for now let's f concentrate on d using a for loop. The Josephus problem will take place entirely within this for loop. Um, we're going to take a variable that keeps a record of the number of players remaining in the game. Um, which is n minus i, and basically we're going to eliminate one person each time and then come back to the start of this for loop. Um, to handle very large numbers of steps, we're going to use a value called current k. Um, so um, if uh, we're going to use the modulo function on k, if k modulo remaining equals 0, current k equals um, equals remaining. Otherwise, current k equals uh, uh, k modulo remaining. So that helps us to handle very large numbers of steps, so we're not having to go through like a million different steps. We're just reducing it to a more manageable number, number um, using the modulo function. We're also going to have an integer alarmingly called dead position and another integer called steps. Basically, um, the action is going to take place in a while loop. While our number of steps is less than our value of current k, um, we're going to um, do the eeny meeny miny mo and eliminate the players at the position where our steps stop. <laughs> A little bit difficult to say. Um, that's where this variable last count position comes into play. Now we are starting at zero and basically within this while loop if our Josephus array last count position if that's 
0 it, then we're going to increment that means uh, if if it's 0 then we're doing the eeny part and the person in that position at position 0 is still alive in the game so eeny has been successfully completed but um, if they have been counted then they now have entered the dead position and could potentially be eliminated if they're at the mo of mo position then they're going to get eliminated um, but maybe they're not um, because we're going to do if the number of steps isn't equal to current k then they're, they're going to survive. Um, otherwise, um, within this while loop, so that we loop back to the start of the array, or just continue the count going through each index in the array, we're going to use this quite simple trick, last count position equals last count position plus one modulo n, and then after all the steps have been completed and the eeny meeny miny mo has done has been done um, we're going to use whatever the remaining dead position is to eliminate our player in the game oops so let's uh, eliminate the player at the dead position so joss array dead position equals 1 and then we're going to leave a little, uh, well, we're going to leave a little message. If our remaining is greater than one, player at position, uh, let's use dead position plus one, is out rather than dead. Else, we have a winner. Player dead position plus one has one so hopefully um, when I run this program it's going to work beautifully um, I'll use the well let's use four and two first to check if it works how does it compare well it looks like it compares pretty well although my version doesn't have player one uh, getting killed off unfairly um, two, four, three, one and let's try another one uh, running it once more seven and three let's see if that works Three six two seven five one four, with four being the winner. Okay, um, to see if it handles uh, very large numbers, um, we'll try seven and nine 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 nine. Now, in theory, at least four seven five two one three six. Yeah, um, no problems. Happy with that result? Let's move on.